Okay, the first thing that I figured out was that if you just get some of your route marking tape, which you already probably have, set it down, makes a nice place for the bowling ball to sit. Next thing I'm going to do is I cut out a piece of paper and it is 6.75 inches. You may want to check the diameter of your bowling ball, but I think they're fairly standard. That is just enough for you to go from the middle of the thumb hole to the halfway point on the bowling ball and make a mark. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want my thumb hole to be the center of the sloper that will have the pockets. That way I can put my bolt in through the thumb hole, screw it in. I won't have to drill another hole in the bowling ball to uh, do the thumb hole. So, or excuse me, to do the bolt. So what I'm going to do is just go all the way around. This certainly isn't a science making your own bowling ball climbing hole, but just do your best to keep the paper in the middle of the thumb hole. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some of that route marking tape and I'm going to put it all the way around the bowling ball so I have a nice visible line to cut on. I'll do that. Okay, so I got some tape where my marking lines were. So I'm going to be cutting on the right hand side of this tape. That's where my marks were. One cool thing about putting the bolt to attach it to the wall in the thumb hole, then the pockets won't be just centered on the face of the sloper. It'll all pivot around that thumb hole. So you could end up with the pockets on the top of the hold, spin it. You could have like some side pull action. You could even have, I think this is going to work, some under cling on those pockets if you put it that way. So that should end up pretty cool. I've never done this next part, so I'm just going to have at it with the Sawzall and see how it goes. I don't know if I'm going to need to strap it down or what, but uh, give it an attempt at least. All right, I fired up the Sawzall and it just didn't seem like a good idea to do that first. So I'm just going to take this normal handsaw and I'm going to just score my line all the way around. That way I can keep it nice and straight to the best of my abilities here. And then maybe with that groove will help me be more successful with the power tools. Made it through, the whole thing took probably 10 minutes. It's gotta be an easier way to do that. Got a huge chop saw probably. Anyway, I have no idea what's in these still. It's just solid plastic or something. I don't know, it's really hard. Anyway, now I've got a half inch bit. That's not the ideal size. Somewhere between 3 eighths and half inch seems to be what you want, but this is gonna work. I'll throw a washer in here before I put the bolt in. So now I'm just going to start drilling. Try to keep it as straight as possible through the thumb hole. Made it through. You should probably wear goggles when you do this. It also stinks bad. 
I don't know what it is, so I should probably have a respirator on, but since I'll probably only do this once in my life, I'll be okay. Then just take a standard climbing bolt washer, 3 eighths is the center, I believe. Drop that in, get a big long bolt. Wow, that one's too long, but climbing hold's done. Screw that into the wall and you've got it. I'll do the same thing on this one. Okay, so now just the final step. I've got the smooth side and I've already drilled a pre-hole the size of, or the width of my washer, which is about seven eighths. So I've got that. I tried to go straight down through the center. I went about halfway through the remaining bowling ball. Bowling ball. Now I'm gonna switch over to a half inch bit which is about perfect for my bolt. It's a little bit sloppy, but it'll work. I'm gonna finish going through. Okay, coming out the bottom now, so let's go from that side. Pretty bomb proof, didn't do anything. Okay, so that is done. Somewhere here, I've got the washer. Now I'm just gonna take the no, climb, he's okay. Just gonna take the <laughs> climbing bolt washer, drop it into the hole, get the bolt through. Oh, I don't have quite enough bolts, so I'm gonna hit it again. Put a little bit more depth on it with my first bit, which was the seven eighths. You want to have enough depth to get enough thread into the tina in your wall to be safe. It's probably best if it comes out the back of the tina a bit once it's screwed in. It's definitely best, actually. Yeah, perfect. Okay, this one's done. A little chalk on your hands and you'll never hold that. Gonna have to figure out some texture. I might put some grip tape or just hit it with a sander for a while. But we'll leave it like that to try for a while. See if people can do it. Give it a try. Okay, we've got the back side of the bowling ball up on the wall right up here. How is it? Smooth? Yeah. Looks glassy. Probably good on the vertical if we move it to one of the steeper walls. I'm sure we'll have to add some texture to it somehow. But for back here, I think it's probably. Smooth one sloper you won't need any chalk for